In this video, I'm going to show you how you can root your OnePlus device easily without having any prior knowledge of routing or modding or without even installing any custom recovery. So without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and you're watching Snaptech. So let's get started. So before starting the video, I would like to say you that after rooting your device and unlocking the bootloader, your data will get erased and your phone will be completely formatted so make sure you back up everything important before proceeding with these steps so first open any of your browser and type oneplus firmware and click on this top link after that scroll down and find your specified device after that just click on the latest software that you have installed on your device and download it on your pc along with other files mentioned in the description below and keep it in a separate folder so that it will be easier for you to navigate along the tutorial so once you do that move back to your device and after that open your settings and scroll down to the bottom at about device section at about device section just click on build number seven times after that you will be asked to input your password if you have kept any and after that developer options will be enabled then go back and click on advanced settings after that you will see a developer option menu click on it and after that enable the usb debugging along with the allow oem unlocking which will help us to unlock the bootloader so once you have done that turn off your device after turning off your device just keep on holding volume up volume down and power button all at once to boot into fast boot mode and once you have booted into your fast boot mode just connect your device to your pc after connecting your device to your pc just unzip this folder named platform tools after unlocking it just open the folder just open the platform tools and after that click on the search icon on top and type in cmd and press enter and a command prompt window will open like this after that you need to type fastboot devices and after typing that if you can see a strings of number and alphabets along with fastboot written beside it that means your pc has detected your device in fastboot mode successfully and if not there will be a video on top right corner of this video itself go there and after that your pc will definitely detect your device in fastboot mode and the next step is to type in the specific command which will be fastboot oem unlock after that you will be given a prompt on your device which will be like do not unlock bootloader and unlock bootloader just use the volume down key to reach to the unlock bootloader option then click on power key to unlock the bootloader and after that wait for your device to get boot into the system and once it booted into the system you can see that it will be completely fresh like before when you bought the device after that then head back to your pc again and unzip these two files which will be payload dumper and your device software what you are running on after doing that open your device firmware folder and then copy the payload.bin file after that go back to the root folder and open the payload dumper folder and in payload input just paste your payload.bin file then again go back and run the payload application and a command prompt window will get open and it will extract your payload.bin file and after extracting all the files just go on payload output and copy the boot image file then connect your device in mtp mode to your pc and copy this boot image file to your mobile device and once you do that switch back to your mobile device again and open any of the browser and search for magisk manager and once you do that click on the official magisk manager website and scroll down and download the magisk manager apk for your device and once it's downloaded just click on it and install it so if you're doing it for the first time you'll be asked to enable the unknown resources just do that and install it on your device and after installing it open the magisk manager then click on install and after you click on install you will be given a prompt to patch a file just click on it and select the file that we transfer from a computer to a device which will be boot.image file and once you do that patching will be completed and your file will be saved in downloads folder then again transfer the patched boot image file from your device to your pc in platform tools folder and once it's done you need to boot your device in fast boot mode again so again turn off your device and keep on holding volume up volume on and power key all at once to boot into fast boot mode and this time you can see that it's written unlocked that means our bootloader has been unlocked what we did previously and then connect your device to your pc and then open your platform tools folder where you copied the new patch boot image file and then click on the search icon on top and type in cmd open the command prompt window again then again type in fast boot devices and your pc will detect your device in fast boot mode after that write this specified command fast boot space flash space boot space and then copy the name of the exact patch boot image file which you copied from your device so I'll just right click on the file name and click on rename and we'll press ctrl c to copy the name and once it's copied open the cmd window again and press ctrl plus v to paste the file name and at the end write dot img because it's an image file and after that press enter to flash the patch boot image file on your device and once flashing is done you are done for good so you can disconnect your device from pc now 
and then just click on the power key to boot into your system and once you have booted into your system and if you open magis you can see that magis install has been done yes now we're going to go to play store and then after that we will download this root checker and after that open this root checker and you will be prompted with a window to give this super user permission just click on grant and you can see that we have successfully rooted our device so this is how you can root any oneplus device easily without any help of custom recovery or any previous knowledge of rooting or modding so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to press that like button and if you have successfully rooted your device please mention which device it was and if you have any other suggestion you can also comment that below and if you are interested in tech related content like this you can also turn on the bell notification to never miss an update so this is for this video I'll meet you in the next one snap tech signing out get up to ho ja hasal tu kar alas pe mitti pa so mat so mat jaag zara ho raha hai savera so mat so mat jaag zara ho raha hai savera